After opening the Olmec software, you want to set up some initial settings to the software. The first thing is under image mode, you have sequential. Under light path, you want to set it to SI. Uh, size is going to be 512 by 512. And then binning is going to be one by one. Um, for each channel, you have to turn it on by clicking on the appropriate letter. So we'll want to turn on channel A and we'll want to turn on channel B. Um, you also have the choice of what die you want to image in that channel. Uh, your choices are DAPI, FITSI, Alexa 568, or Sci-5. So in other words, near UV, green, red, and far red. Uh, for this channel, I'll choose FITSI, and for the other channel, I'll choose 568. Now you want to play, pay close attention because when you choose the, the die in the channel, it does not automatically couple uh, with the excitation or the laser line. So you want to make sure you go down here and choose the appropriate laser line for the color that you've chosen up here. Um, so the excitation for FITSI or green is going to be the 48 laser, and for Alexa 568, it will be the 568 laser. Um, in terms of the mode, you can just leave that at medium, 95 megahertz. It really doesn't matter which one you choose. Um, exposure time, we want to set that to uh, 100 milliseconds. Uh, we need to start somewhere, and 100 milliseconds is kind of a, a nice average place to start. So we'll set both of those to 100. And then for your uh, laser power percentage, your transmission percentage, we want to set that to around 10%. You have uh, choices from 0.1% to up to 100%. We want to set that at 10%. One thing uh, to pay very close attention to on the OMAX is to make sure that you minimize the amount of laser power that you use. Photo bleaching of your sample is going to result in very poor reconstruction later on. So you really want to try to minimize this, 10% or less uh, if possible. So we'll set both of those to 10%. Those are the setups for your initial settings.